I think I just noticed something important. Why is this guy naked? Why? You know, for Scottish people, the worst thing you can do, possibly do, is arrive home from holiday in the summertime. Because what you get is this. I'm one of the few people who are travelling back to Scotland. I get prepared beforehand. Can I get wrapped up in warm clothes as we leave Spain and places like that? Because I know when we come home, I know what's gonna happen when I get home, it's gonna be freezing cold and raining. Scottish people, we suffer. We suffer quite badly every single year. This is supposed to be the sounds of a woman as you arrive in Glasgow Airport. Makes you feel a wee bit better about coming home to the rain. <laughs> what have you got? Well folks, we are back home from Menorca, back home in Edinburgh. Uh, it was an amazing, amazing trip. Absolutely loved Menorca. I would highly recommend that place to anybody going there, especially if you've got a family. It's a really family place. Oh, but boy, does it suck to be back in the cold. Uh, and you know what? That's something about being Scottish that really, really sucks. You have to save up. I mean, a lot of people do this. Save up for a whole year to go on a holiday to places like Menorca and other sunny places to get their week of sunshine because our summer here is awful. But anyway, the good thing is we got a nice early flight this morning, so we have got plenty of time to kill for the rest of the day. Uh, and I don't know if a lot of you guys will know this, it's now August, which means the Edinburgh International Festival has started in Edinburgh. The Fringe Festival. So, I think it would be a shame not to go uptown, take a wee walk and see what's happening, because it will be my first kind of jaunt out into Edinburgh Festival this year, 2016. Another thing that's really noticeable is that the nights are drawing in slowly. Uh, just a few weeks ago it was light until 10 o'clock at night here. Now, it seems to be more like 9 o'clock. And that's why I love Edinburgh at festival time. There are so many crazy and cool people here in the city right now. Amazing. So basically the main event tonight. To open the Edinburgh festival, they're going to use Edinburgh Castle as basically a big cinema screen outdoors. They're going to project lights and images onto the castle itself. The lights are going to be played alongside our various different songs from Mogwai, which is a lot of you guys will already know, one of my favourite Scottish bands. Unfortunately, we don't have tickets to actually go onto the car park where they are. you get the best view of the castle. So we're going to try and find a better spot quite close underneath the castle. I'm not sure what the view is going to be like, but we're going to try our best and see what we can see. Look at that, it's even got a right inside. Maybe it wouldn't be a good idea to park here. Wow. That's impressive. Oh. 
There's yeah. another light. Look at the light, it's going all the way up to the sky in the clouds. Rio 2016 Olympic opening ceremony, eat your heart out. That was friggin' amazing. Spectacular opening ceremony for Edinburgh Festival. Amazing, absolutely incredible. Those, I've never seen a projection in real life like that before. So, so clever and beautiful. The Edinburgh Castle, Edinburgh Castle was looking absolutely amazing. Spectacular. And obviously the Mogwai soundtracks were just perfect. Yeah.